What's up guys, Shuri here, and today I want to know, am I now the phone god? Because I've been playing phone since my iPad broke, and I think I've gotten pretty godlike. I mean, obviously I am the ranger god and the kuda god, but now I think I might be the phone god. And I want to know what you guys think. Um... Uh, I mean, honestly, I, I don't think that I'm the phone god, but I am playing pretty godlike, and I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, as soon as I get my iPad, which should be soon, I will be making a tutorial on how to play three and four finger claw. I think that anyone that plays with two fingers will benefit from this greatly, especially with their sniping, and especially with their knifing. Because it helps so much to have those extra fingers. And I think it can help a lot of people. I just wanted to go ahead and show off some of the cool things I've done on phone. Because I love showing off the coolest games ever. And hopefully soon I can show you guys exactly how I'm doing it with my fingers. Because I really think that's going to make such a huge difference. Because honestly having those extra fingers and not having to lift your thumbs up is such an important Thing. and learning how to hold them in a comfortable way is super important and it'll make a lot of people be able to do it without having to just say screw this it's uncomfortable my fingers hurt and all that fun stuff so right here we're down by not a lot but a significant amount when the game's almost over we are lucky enough to get that double kill and we are going to go back and forth and just try to find where they're coming and we know from where he shot me at they're going to come from behind we do end up getting his undying down and then kill him with a throwing knife there's another undying guy in front of us thank god for serpent serpent did help us out there to get that kill and Having your scout at head level is so important. It allows us to be able to get that kill. We try to throw a knife, but we can't. We do end up killing him, and then a third guy coming up, and we get the kill for 18 kills and 307 points. Yes, that is a phone god if I have ever seen one. And I think we can all agree I am the best player to ever play on phone. As long as you just don't count the people that are better than me, which is what I do. Because, I mean, hey, if you don't count the people that are better than you, then you're the best, right? So, we're going to try to use Ranger and keep going. God, I can't even keep straight face saying that. But I accidentally buy stun guns. I actually meant to buy health pills because I ran out of health pills, which I do very often. If you're not using health pills with the support class, you're doing it wrong, guys. Because every health pill you use, you get 300 armor and health. But um, we are going to be able to buy health pills this time because, uh, I don't know, I'm better at it this time. I, I honestly don't know how I actually bought stems, so it really sucked. But it doesn't matter because, like I said, we are going to come out and do what we can. We go ahead and kill one, and we get flashed, which sucks. But hey, that's Guns Boom if you ever played it, you'd know. And we're going to go out and try to be able to get some kills. We're going to use our Dragon Fire because we're going to fight people up close most likely. We do end up getting that double kill. And we have full health because of our Jockey Pants. Gotta love it. We're going to keep going back and forth, see what we can do to help our team. And we do end up killing the guy at the bus. Dragon Fire's range is pretty good. And it is a powerful weapon at all ranges, which is great. Although it is better up close, it does pretty much good at any distance. Just because it's so fast, and especially if you can hit the headshots, it can get you where you need to go. I go up to the bus because I figured they liked the bus area, but we're going to go down to try to help cat the hill just in case they need it. We do end up killing the guy after we cat the hill, and we're going to kind of go around and try to flank and see what we can do. We do end up getting both of them low. We kill one, and our teammates are going to go kill the other. And then we have two more in front of us. We're going to just try to get them low because our teammates can take care of it and then cat the hill, which is exactly what they do. I love my teammates this game. They were so good. All the props in the world should go to them. I'll say their names at the end of this because it was great. But look at that double kill with a throwing knife. Oh my god. Talk about a phone god, right? I mean, anyone who can do that, phone god of the year, right? I'm just saying. So we're going to keep on going and see what we can do. Because remember, when you're a phone god, you can do anything. But we do have one weakness. Even the gods get flashed and suck. Because this game just... It's not great when you're flashed. I'm 
even the gods have the trouble. But we're going to go on the hill, see what we can do. We're going to try to stay alive, because that is what's most important. We do stay alive, and we end up capping the hill, taking it away from them, and our teammates help so much. Again, shout out to those guys. At the end of this, I will help and show their names, because they deserve some credit, and they deserve all the shout outs in the world, man. Look at these guys. Just so you know, it is 3v4 for, like, the last few hundred points, so... Go team, uh, I'm assuming the guy lagged out or whatever, so no shade to that guy, but we could still lose, but no we're not, because the phone god of the year, as long as you don't count all the other people, was there to save the day. But look at that putrid hangman and Marco, shout out to those guys, it was an amazing game and they helped get the hill so many times, it was truly awesome teamwork. Shout out to those guys for real. They deserve the credit because that was definitely awesome. One thing that sucks is sometimes I do hit the menu button while I'm playing and I hate it. I don't know how to stop it. I'm not a fan. But it's all good. We do get the kill and an assist and then we get another assist on that guy because of our awesome grenading phone guide kind of grenades if you ask me I i'm just saying but then we do get the triple kill i'm telling you phone guide grenades yeah my grenades even have lightning like thor i mean every everything's pointing towards god status just saying and really tanfly rocketed again okay if that's what you want to do bro i'm down Let's go. We're going to rock it on the left side and come in through the right side to kind of confuse them. And it ends up working. We do outplay the guy with our awesome skills. And then we're going to just kind of stay alive because that's really all that's important. We see our teammates are having a fight. Let's go ahead and help them. And we are going to come out. We do end up killing the guy with our rocket. And then we're going to just try to get him low. Can fly. It kills us with our rocket. Great job by him, and we are going to keep on going, and we can't really do much, but we can keep them off that hill, and the hill is the only thing that could save them, so we are going to end up going. I get killed by a rocket, but I kill another guy with a rocket, so it's whatever. For 380 points with like 15 kills, we do end up getting a 200 point lead when we started that clip off at a 300 point loss, but we're going to come out here. And come strong with the best combo in the game. If you have not seen my video showing exactly how this combo is the best, you should. I'll have it linked in the description for those who would like to see it. We are going to be playing a little bit aggressive and doing what we can to show everyone exactly how much of a phone god we really are. And we're going to go up with our sunburst and kill them with our... Pistol, oh my god, that pistol man. I I'm loving might and glory so much, I'm not gonna lie to you. But we do have the best AR in the game, and the best sniper in the game, with the best perks in the game, and the best loadout, because that's just what we do here. We're gonna go ahead and kill the bow camper, and then we know a guy's gonna come on the right, so we're gonna be ready for him, and then we're gonna be ready for his friend for a triple kill, and... And unstoppable, and then the only person that can kill the god is the god himself. That's right, guys. I'm the only one who can stop me. It, as long as you kind of ignore all the other clips where I died a lot. Yeah, maybe I'm not a phone god, but, but I'm trying. But I will link a true god in the description and the comments. And that is going to be Armenia. Go to his channel. Subscribe. We got to get that dude to a thousand. He totally deserves it. He is the second best player in the world next to Jewel Shurkan, the best player ever. So go watch his stuff and learn from him. Have a good day, guys.